My name is George Fernandez. I am 26 years old. I'm from Cape Verde. I currently work at UTC uh, Pratt & Whitney as a data analyst. They build jet engines. You've probably flown in one of the airplanes that have Pratt & Whitney engine. And then you have the executives who want to know how the business is doing. So they come to my team and then, and then they say, tell me how this business unit is doing. We kind of look at data and we see patterns. And then we write a mathematical equations that describes that pattern. I read a quote once that says, almost everything is hard before it becomes easy. If, if you just go from today and you're just uh, an undergrad and you want to do a data scientist job, it's not easy. But once you get the basic uh, statistics and you can actually grab a book or, or a couple books and just read through it, it's not hard. It's just a matter of taking the time to understand the foundation and then build on it. I was talking to my dad and he was asking me how much I'm making now and this and that. When I told him, he's like, wow, you're making more than me and, my, and your mom combined. <laughs> because for data science, or math, or whatever you want to get into, people are willing to pay a lot of money for someone who can tell them what's coming, what's in the future. And that's what data scientists do. Silicon Valley, they're, they're paying 200,000, 500,000 for a good data scientist. I grew up in Cape Verde. My dad, he always wanted a better life for all the kids. At the age of 16, he decided that it, it would be better for us to move here. And when we came, I went to Brockton High, no English, nothing. I had to go through the bilingual program. And at the time, I didn't know what to do. It was pretty much just go to school and graduate high school and, and hopefully go to college. And then I got to UMass Dartmouth through um, College Now. Math was what I went for because I didn't want to read. English was not my first language. And then from there, I got involved with a couple professors and they kind of pushed me to, to research and understand math and see what I could do with it. And there I found data and I started doing research. Right before I graduated, I had no clue what to do. So I went on LinkedIn, got into a bunch of groups and a bunch of requests out there, connected with people that I didn't even know, asked them questions. Because I was doing all that, I was becoming top contributor in one of the groups. And someone from the Hartford got in touch with me where they said, would you like to come in for a position that we have for an intern? So I took that and I started reading and learning. I looked at it as a chance to prove myself, you know, that, that I can actually do this. And everything that I know about data analysis and things like that, I just learned it by myself. I never really had anyone to, to teach me that. So I finished that and I got offered a full-time job at the end. I continued to read and learn, always ask questions, and I found mentors. And from there, a recruiter from UTC, which is a Fortune 50 company, which blew my mind when they, when they called me. They said, hey, we have a position. Would you like to just come for an interview? He didn't even ask me any technical question. He's like, oh, after two years you went to college without English or anything, and you graduated, and now you're in front of me interviewing for this position. It's like, I need someone like you, because if you were able to do all this, I'm pretty sure whatever I put you to do, you can press through it. Now I am there at UTC, and every day, still the same thing. If I need to do something, grab a book and learn it. That, that's pretty much what I, what I do now. You just have to take the time to learn something and convince someone that you can help them make money with what you know. If you think about it, it's just a matter of reading the right books and understanding the right concept and just applying it the right way. If you're able to find that balance, you can to choose which company you, you go to work for. You don't have to look for a job, you just pick and choose.